you've just learned about Bayes' theorem, let's get into a really advanced application of Bayes' theorem called the naive Bayes classification algorithm. It's really advanced, but it's really, you take it apart, it's really pretty simple, and it's incredibly powerful and often very accurate. So the problem is as follows. You want to classify an observation to one of n groups or classes. So let's call those classes C1 through Cn. Each observation has m attributes. Okay, so these are the things you know about an observation. And then based on those attributes, you want to classify an observation with those attributes into a group. So here are some examples. Does somebody subscribe or not subscribe, let's say, to ESPN the magazine based on their demographics? That'll be our example. Will your flight be on time or not? Well, what would tell you basically if a flight is likely to be on time? The weather, the time of day, the airports involved. You probably know O'Hare and LaGuardia have lots of issues. The day of the week, et cetera. But the idea is if you know the attributes, can you come up with sort of a posterior probability for each class, and then you classify the observation into the class with the highest posterior probability. Now, this is going to take a few videos to explain because it's really pretty complicated. So let's suppose there's only two attributes, okay, X1 and X2. Okay, it might be age and gender. Okay, so you want to know what's the posterior probability that you, an observation is in class one given you know age and gender, X1 and X2. So by base term, the probability of being in class one and having the values X1 of uh, attribute one and X2 of attribute two divided by the probability of X1 and X2. Now, don't worry too much about the denominator. But how would you get the joint probability in the numerator? You'd start with the probability of being in C1, that class, which is a prior probability. Then you take the probability, let's say, of X1, the attribute value of X, first attribute, given C1, times the probability, we should say P here, times the probability of X2, given X1 and C1. Okay. Now, that's fairly complex, and it would get even worse if you had more than two attributes here. But see, the last term, you, this is the naive part. You know, naive means you sort of don't really understand the world. So, I mean, I understand that this is not a perfectly accurate assumption. But basically, if I forget about the X1 part here and just say this is the marginal probability, likelihood of X2, the likelihood of X2 given class 1, then I could replace this crazy term by that. And if I do that with even more than two attributes, as we'll see, we're fine. So basically, what you do in naive Bayes, you compute a numerator as the prior probability of the class for each class times basically the marginal likelihood of each attribute given the class. You multiply those together, and whatever class gives you the biggest value basically is the class that you will classify the observation in. Now, to make these products into probabilities, you need a denominator, but that's simple. You just add up the numerators for all the classes and then divide by the sum of the numerators, and that'll normalize the posterior probability so they add to one. So in the next video, we'll pick up with a real example of how this works. It's really cool and really accurate and really simple to do in Excel. Okay, so thanks for watching, and, and there's a free course, a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, and all of these videos are coming from one of three books. So first, this one, which you can see here at the top of the screen, um, Microsoft's book, which has... 355 reviews, uh, and then it's, let's see, 4.6 stars. Um, it's coming from this book as well, his marketing analytics book, which is down here, and you can sort of see 4.5, or his newest book, his analytics stories book, which is here. And with that one, you can see it's four point something, or maybe even five. I don't think it's five. Yeah, 4.8. And so, yeah, anyways, in the description, there's a free 21-day course from Dr. Winston, um, or you can go to excelwithwayne.com slash free, and it'll be there. But again, thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, just uh, please let us know. Thanks.